converting to Islam. The 100,000 converts now is up from an estimated 60,000 10 years ago. The majority are women with an average age on conversion of 27. The BBC Asian Network reporter Catherine Nye has details of the report, which comes from the British charity Faith Matters. Aisha Yudin used to be called Laura Lee. Her parents are both English Christians. She converted to Islam two years ago. Islam caught my eye and I wanted to look further into it, towards the people, the culture, and I carried on studying it even after school. I was surrounded by the religion. There are no official conversion figures in the UK. Swansea University in Wales took previous census data, figures on conversions in other European countries, and surveyed mosques. It concluded the number of Muslim converts is steadily rising. There could be as many as 100,000 in the UK. At Regent's Park Mosque in London, conversions happen every week. The vast majority are women. Every woman or man who becomes Muslim, if you were to do an assessment out of five, three or four would be women. On a regular basis, I come across this. More so since 9-11. People are curious. They want to learn more, and they go to the book rather than rely on the media. Researchers did the largest survey of its kind in the UK. They found most women had adopted the headscarf, had faced some hostility from their family, and said support was crucial. Aisha recently had a traditional Asian wedding to a British Bangladeshi man. She now lives with his parents. My family, they wasn't too happy about it. Um, they have their opinions about it. Um, why change what you was before? Why you was born a Christian, you was born English? Why change who you are? Why change your identity? Why cover your hair? Why dress the way you dress? I'm proud to be Muslim and I don't care what my family says. The report found the majority of converts see themselves as both British and Muslim. Charity Faith Matters says they're a key bridge between Muslims and other communities. Catherine Nye, BBC News, London. Next up in the hub, the genetically modified...